Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at making a motion comic in Clip Studio Paint. So Clip Studio Paint is really good because you can do comics, you can do animation, and uh, you can even combine both and do uh, like a comic page, but then maybe animate and do like a motion comic, kind of like this, for example. No, these are just a few panels that I just uh, use the keyframes to move them around and show this page. So something cool about making a motion comic is that you have more control of how you show uh, the panels. For example, you know, let's say this was a whole page. You could see every panel at the same time in a regular comic. But this is, this is a motion comic. You can show, you know, panel by panel. And then even then you can show a panel little by little. Like here, I'm showing it slowly revealing what's happening so you can have a little bit more of a build up uh you know show different panels you know uh you can like surprise the the viewers i mean not in this example but like you know you can kind of show things can pop out of nowhere you know you can add sound effects and other things like that so uh it's a quick video and show you that you can do this and i guess some tips uh different ways they can do it so there are different ways to do this so you know this is like a page at this a random page one way is to leave it like that leave, leave the whole page and then just move the the camera to go through each panel so let's say I create a new uh, animation file just leave it like default so the display area is gonna be that, only the square. Uh, but let me see, I can add uh, the camera size to bigger. Just have a, an idea. So all this, all this outside area is not gonna be seen, you know, only what's in the square is gonna be shown in the final animation, right? So I'm just kind of doing that. So one way they can do it, you know, if you have it like this, I got a full JPEG, um, you can just kind of move things around. So let's say I'm going to add this, turn this into a, a keyframe. So I can say, okay, it's got a starting point is going to be here. Then, you know, I wanted to show this uh, panel, like pan a little bit like that. Uh, and then I do that. And you see, it, there is go, it's going too fast. Uh, so I guess uh, a few things to know, you can add more frames. You can right click and say, click here, insert frames. If you want to make it a little longer, instead of dragging this, uh, you can add it here. And I'll show you why that's important. You know, it adds to say 50 frames there. So, so now it can be a little slower. Okay, let's say next panel, I'm gonna click another one here. And uh, here I'm gonna show maybe this one. Yeah, so it's gonna do that, that kind of quick transition there. So what I did here was like, I, I started here, he ended here, that's my first uh, panel and then here I just left in the same position so I just kind of you know this and this is the same position so the uh, the panel just stay there for a little bit you know so that's what happens you know there just there's a few and then here and I told it to come from there to here so you kind of jump like that um, I mean how about other videos with the uh, animation stuff or the keyframes how it works uh, so you can see more there but here you know I'm just gonna do it quickly uh, so the thing is now I'm gonna go and uh, choose the next position I'm gonna go to another pan like that right okay so this is the animation so you can see how you can transition between uh, panels yeah, so that's like if you want to do like that that's like the 
super basic way to do it. Uh, now let's look at another way. Each panel and put in a separate layer. So something I did here, I select all the white on the outside and then delete it. So now this is all transparent and then I'll hide just like each panel. Uh, but it's, I mean, they're still in the same layer, but I can kind of select, I can say this one, and I can say cut and paste, and you know, now I pasted that in a separate uh, layer. So you can continue that with all of them, you know, go for a second one. I guess you could put in a folder. Uh, and I'm gonna go here with the folder selected. You can just click enable keyframes and it enables it for all of them. So let's say I'm gonna move this um, up to the side just so I can select them from there. Okay, so now I can have all, I have all of this. I can select them one at a time. You know, say okay here. So I can say okay, starting point is gonna be there. Yeah, so let's see. And then I guess a quick transition out. I'm just gonna fly out. Now this one, like let's say I wanted to show from the bottom, you know, so, so I wanted to start here. So this is gonna be th down there below the, the frame. Uh, so it's starting point and I wanted to like fly up, you know, it's gonna come in it's just padding and then so it's kind of cool to to do that those transitions because then it, it looks a little better um, when you transition it for the end of one like okay now let's go to the next panel yeah it's cool to to do that like almost at the same time the, the timing is like the same spot because you know it, it just looks like they're together almost, you know, it's like, oh, you, you're sliding to the next panel. It's cool because you can experiment and show things um, at your own pace, you know, show the story, you know, let's say if you wanted to show it from, uh, from this side instead, like, oh, show the moon first and it's fine to the thing. Like, it, it's pretty cool because it lets you control how you tell the, the story with it, how, how people see the panels pretty much. Uh, yeah, and then just continue doing the same, you know, now here we end it. Uh, I can say, okay, panel three. So this is pretty cool and maybe you can make your comic into like a video, you know, put it on YouTube, add music, sound effects. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. And if you guys are interested in learning more about animation and clip digital paint, I made a course that is like over five and a half hours of videos, tutorials. You know, I show you a lot of stuff like, you know, how to animate, you know, simple stuff like this, you know, maybe making like a looping background, uh, using keyframes, animation folders, um, and different ways to, to work in Cubsteel Paint. Um, yeah, you can even make stuff like like this. You can kind of create like a rig character, lip syncing, adding sounds, and uh, a lot of stuff. You can kind of control your characters. And there's a lot of ways to even customize uh, your characters. For example, you know, you can easily do something like this. And then, you know, you can have the same animation, look like different and like a lot of different tricks yeah and i'll show you a lot of different tools too so how to work with all the different things um yeah there's a lot of tips and stuff that you can do with uh even the pro version and the ex version so uh if you guys are interested take a look at the link uh it's your link and you find more about it but yeah that's gonna be it for the video thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one bye